morning. This morning's plans. So, it is still too wet for field work, although it is drying quickly. We are going to, one, put up a farm sign at the end of our lane. This is kind of a honeydew job, but kind of also necessary. And I say that because at our grain bins, there's no mailbox, there's no address marker, and we get deliveries up there for the farm pretty often, and they end up lost. So, putting that up there, then after that, I think I'm gonna go map some fields in the rock store, and then after that, well, I really don't know. We have Little League games and softball games both at the same time at 5.30, so I guess we'll probably just map fields till then. But spring is in the air. It is supposed to be 75 degrees today and 80 all weekend, so hopefully by this weekend we'll be dry. So my old truck here, I get a lot of questions about it, like how old it is or what's all done to it. I think that I'm going to drive this truck one more year and then sell it. So she's got 104,000 miles on it right now. And at the end of the year, it'll probably have about 110 and it'll be for sale. If anyone's, you know, thinking long term about a truck purchase, this one might be available. We'll see. I was originally going to keep it till she could drink a beer. This truck's a 2004, but I don't think we're going to make it that long. I'm getting the fever. You got your inspector clothes on? I'm coming to supervise and let you know you're doing it all wrong. Cousin Ben loaded salt with the skid steer. There's so much salt on the windshield and it's so You can't humid. see. I can't see a thing out of the windshield. So, so if you need some salt for your french fries, we got some. So cousin Ben, if you watch this, uh, probably owed dad a wash job on the skid steer and maybe he'll let you have Easter dinner or Christmas dinner with us again. See if I can catch Squishy. Hey, Squishy, Squishy. Yep. I need it over here anyway. Got it! Can't believe it doesn't say I see on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, I picked out the sign. If Brian would have picked it out, it probably would have said I seen on YouTube. I want to put YouTube on it. All right, Kayla, take me over to harnesses. So, it quickly dawned on me that we're going to need the telehandler. We could make do with what we had, but we've got a telehandler. BJ needs a telehandler to fertilize her anyways, because he is going to try to get that strip till rig calibrated today. So that we can be off to the races. You're right in the way. You're going to like how I adjusted your seat. All right, get some peace and quiet in this thing. I'm kidding, honey. I love you. Supervising job gets real serious. I think. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short. You're also su or an advisor. Not yeah. just a supervisor, you're an advisor. Right. I am everything but the digger. I like the way you hung the sign. Your turn. For what? To dig. I don't do that. All right, sub in. Yay. Keep going, come on. I like it better when you do it. Keep that form, it's all in the back. Hey, I think I'm gonna switch it jobs. This supervising rolls a heck of a lot better. All right, I'm gonna go eat some lunch. You keep digging by the time I, I get- I have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Oh, 
gonna see me squat. <laughs> Good form, right? Perfect. You oh. broke the back. It's all right. It's close enough. It's close enough. <laughs> this is the family tamping stick. Thanks, tamped to many a fence post. I don't know. I don't know if this is real. Is it an actual like tree branch stick? I mean, it didn't just sprout from the freaking earth. <laughs> Where do trees come from then, Brian? Where do trees come from? Well, it kind of did sprout from the earth. But there we go. Like the branch didn't just appear out of nowhere. How's yeah, that? it did. It appeared out of it. Yeah. Okay. What? Everyone, everyone thinks you're cute on the internet. They don't live with you like I do. Want your sign stained? Called one. Cheesy piece. One eight hundred. Not Kayla. <laughs> morning so we're supposed to get a rain shower here in the next like, hour so we're going to attempt to spread some fertilizer before that happens try to get a little bit done today but it looks like it's going to set in rain and, and rain all day Me like we could use a scoop of potash and a scoop of mez to finish the field that we're gonna go do so I'm gonna go do that real fast we might be good but we're gonna be really pushing it on the rain to get done with this field I don't have to come over here and fill up in the middle of that so throw a scoop on each and we'll be, definitely be good gotta see the weather moving in that way it's starting to get a little dark back in there Hopefully this will miss us, but I'm afraid we're definitely going to get something out of it. Definitely see it raining about a mile and a half down the road, so maybe we ought to just wait a second. Well, I guess it was a good effort. Good morning. I don't know where this video is left off. Uh, it's been kind of a chaotic week. Lots of rain delays. But today, it is not dry enough to do much. We're going to attempt to do something, but it's supposed to rain. Let's see. Hoping to spread some fertilizer. Dad and I are going to look at a few cornfields to see how wet they are. Uh, it's, it's damp. It's damp. We've had a couple inches of rain this week, and we weren't super dry before then, so it's definitely damp. Dad and I are going to walk out here. This should be one of our driest fields right now. This is very gravelly, well-drained dirt. It needs vertical tilled and it needs fertilizer spread on it. Yeah, you can spread fertilizer on it. Yeah, it's too wet to till though. Oh, yeah. It needs like another day and a half, two days before we could till on it. But like I say, it's supposed to rain tonight. Okay, so we've had a little bit of a a little bit of a boring morning. We've been walking a lot of wheat fields and looking at some stuff. We've got an issue with some of our wheat we're trying to remedy, but right now BJ is getting ready to take the red Kenworth back to Kenworth because, well, it's broke again. Seems to be a pattern there with that truck. Anyways, I'm gonna go get the freight liner. I'm gonna go get a load of gravel. Uh, I need a couple loads of gravel, one over here and one at the other grain bins, and then we're gonna spread maybe. One thing is for sure, we're not going to hurt the ground wait in a few hours because uh, it's, it's plenty, plenty moist. Hey look, there's BJ driving the black truck. He's done it! All right, so we are going to load up a little bit more fertilizer. We are going to another farm that's got a variable rate application. And it's going to take a lot, so might as well load her up. So when this turns green, we are applying, in this part of the field, we're only applying our mez. The other part of the field, oddly enough, is where all the potash for this field goes. 
Uh, Oxbow's riding great. Seems to be spreading good. The dual bit, game changer for variable rate because I would have had to come right back to this field with potash. When uh, we weren't strip tilling, we would have bought this in a blend. The only problem with buying a blend, you cannot variable rate your meds and your potash. You're spreading a blended product. So maybe you don't need any mez, which would be your phosphorus. You just need some potassium, which would be your potash. Well, if you got it blended, you're kind of, you know, you're kind of stuck spreading that. This way we can separate those products, variable rate where we need it, and not uh, over apply or waste any product. I mean, there are going to be some waste in this because the way a spreader works, you only have an 80 foot pass. It does not shut off until all 80 feet have went into a covered area. It's like right here, they will be shutting off soon because we've already spread this. See, there they go. You know, trying to control the overlap and uh, waste as much as possible. Well, oh! Huh! Yeah, all right, we're gonna try to finish at least that field we were just spreading because the rain is definitely right over there. So one concern I have with this Raven, these purple areas, I should be applying product. Now, there's no section control in this. We only have like, we have automatic swath control, but we're on, like it's 180 foot section. We should be applying like, anytime we cross into some of that purple, and it's like we don't always. I don't I don't know where to even go in a Raven. I am texting someone from Oxbow. Hopefully we'll get an answer there soon. Maybe there's a delay and it just doesn't map. But like right through here, it's cutting in and out. Like we should be mapping that whole time because at one point, this 80 foot section is always in a zone that's calling for fertilizer. It should never shut off. And it is. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I really miss my ag leader. I would have an idea how to change it there. But very new to Raven. Does appear to be a nice steering monitor. I just, I, I miss my ag leader. Well, there's a raindrop. I don't like that. We have entirely too much fertilizer on board to get caught in the rain. Like we're floating on a cloud. So if you're new to the channel, the Oxbow uses a cab suspension. And to be honest with you, the first time I seen it, I was like, there's no way it's gonna work, but this thing rides like a dream. Can't take anything away from it. It definitely made a huge difference. Ah, we made it back, but it is close. Getting some big drops. All right, folks, that might be it for this one. I honestly don't know how many days are gonna be spliced together in this one, so it's hard to tell if this is it or not. But, thanks for watching. Hope everyone had a great Mother's Day. This is the Thursday before Mother's Day, so hope everyone had a great Mother's Day. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Hey, don't forget to check out our store. We got some pretty cool hats, pretty cool shirts. We got some other stuff coming. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, so you can keep up with our, our planning progress. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah, squishy.